welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate engineering properties of soil, soil charge, void ratio, degree of saturation, moisture content, porosity, bulk density, and dry density. So the question is, a sample of soil weighing 30.6 kg has a volume of 0.018 cubic meters. When dried out in an oven, its weight was reduced to 27.2 kg. The specific gravity is 2.25. So we are going to go straight to, to question number one and uh, find the vol ratio. So vol ratio uh, can be defined as the ratio of the volume void to volume of solids where VV stands for volume of void and VS stands for volume of solids So in order to find a void ratio, we have to know the value for the values for uh, VV and VX. But as you can see uh, from the question, we are not given the value for VV and VX, but we are given the value for you know the weight of the which is 30.6 kilogram, and uh, the volume of uh, that is the total volume of the soil sample which is uh, 0.018 cubic meters and uh, the weight of the dry sample that is after drying it in an oven is given as 27.2 kilogram also it is the same thing as mx which is a mass of solid so either you say uh, weight of the dry sample or mass of the solid so and also uh we are given 2.25 as the uh, specific gravity which is g so we are going to use uh, the following formula which is uh rho x which is density of solids equals mx over vx equals gx rho w so we are going to use this formula to calculate the value for vx so in order to calculate the value of VS, we are going to make VX the subject of formula. So we have MX over VX equals GX from W. So VX equals MX over gx rho w where vs stands for volume of solids solids and then mx stands for mass of dry sample so the volume of sound of the solid is what we are looking for the mass of uh, the dry sample is given us 27.2 
kilogram. So we have 27.0 kilogram. And then GX, specific gravity, stands for specific gravity. It's giving us 2.25. And then lastly, we have row W, which stands for density of, uh, of water. Although the density of water is not given in, in the equation, but uh, the density of water is known to be 1,000 kilogram per cubic meters. So let's substitute the these values into the formula in order to get Vx. So we have Vx equals mx, mx which is 27.2 kilogram over gx which is 2.25 times 1000 kilogram uh, cubic meters. So this kg will come to kg. We have 2.25 times 1000 equals 0 27 and two divided by two two so we have zero point zero zero one two one to three significant figures. So we're going to round it up to three significant figures. So one cubic meters. So next, we're going to find the value for VV. So VV is the, the volume void is uh, giving us 12 volume minus volume of solid. So if you subtract the volume of solid, from the total volume, you're going to get the volume of void or the volume of pore spaces. So the total volume from the equation is given as 0.018 cubic meters. So we have 0.018 cubic meters minus the volume of a solid, which is uh, what we just uh, calculated, is giving us 0 0.0121 cubic meters. Well, 018 minus. So one, two, one. So 
So BV is equal to 0 0.0059 cubic meters. So in order to get the void ratio, let's uh, substitute the values into the formula. So void ratio equals VV all over VX. VV, which is uh, 0 0.0059 cubic meters over Vx we got 0 0.001 to 1 cubic meters so this will cancel this shall I divide it divided by 0 0.01 to 1 so our final answer is 0 0.48 488 to Three significant figures. So if we run it up to three significant figures, we have 0 0.488 as a final answer. So, so next we're going to find the, the degree of saturation. So number two, degree of saturation. Extra. So degree of saturation can be defined as the percentage of water that occupies the, the pore spaces in the soil. So mathematically, it is given as XR equals VW over VV, where VW stands for volume of water. So first, we are going to calculate the volume of water because we are not given the value for the volume of water. So in order to calculate the volume of water, we are going to make use of this formula VW equals MW over rho W, where MW stands for mass of water. So this is the mass of water that was lost when the soil was dried in the oven. So in order to get the mass of water, we are going to subtract the, the weight of the, of the dry sample from the weight of the, of the wet sample. So the, the weight of the, the dry sample is uh, 
27.2 kilogram and the weight of the wet sample is 30.6 kilogram. So we have V W 30.6 kilogram minus weight of the dry sample which is 27.2 kilogram over over the density of water so from the formula Of density of water. Density of water is given as 1000 kilogram uh, cubic meters. So we have 30.6 minus 27.2 is equal to 3.4 kilogram over 1,000 kilogram per cubic meters. So this guy, we cancel this guy. So next we have 3.4 divided by 1000 so we have vw as uh, 0 0.0034 meter cube so as the as a value for vw So now we are going to substitute this value into the formula for degree of saturation in order to get the degree of saturation. We have XR equals V W all over V B. So 0 0.034 cubic meters over the volume of void. So from our previous calculation, we have the volume of void as uh, as uh, 0 0.059 0 point zero zero five nine cubic meters so this guy we consider this guy So let's divide by zero zero five nine. So let's run it up to three significant figures. So we have zero point five seven six. So the final answer is 0 0.576. That is the degree of uh, saturation. So next we are going to find the moisture content 
So question number three. Moisture content can be defined as the, the quantity of water that is contained in a soil. So MC is given as mass of water over MX, which is a mass of the soil. So in this case, MS stands for mass of the soil that is the mass of the wet soil before it was dried in the oven so mass of the water is a uh, weight of the wet soil minus weight of the dry soil over mx So the weight of the wet soil, which is 30.6, which is thirty point six kilogram minus weight of the dry soil is 27.2 kilogram divided by the mass of the soil or the mass of the wet soil so the same so we have 30.6 kilogram So the mass of water is from our previous calculation. We have uh, the mass of water as uh, 3.4, that is 30.6 minus 27.2, giving us 3.4. So 3.4 kilogram over 30. Six kilograms. So this guy will cancel this guy. So divide this by thirty point six. So we have zero point zero point one 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 to three significant figures. So let's uh, multiply it by 100 to get the answer in percentage. So times 100. So in percentage, uh, the moisture content is 11. C is equal to 11 point one percentage so so that is the answer for the moisture content so guys uh this is the end of the first part of the video so in the next video i'm going to show you how to how to find the porosity bug density and uh, dry density okay guys please if you like my video please uh like and subscribe thank you for watching bye